safari. No, no, right hand side, watch those hands aren't feeling like they're going to be sliding shut. Hi, Santi Sana. Hi, Najambo, everyone. Welcome on board. My name is Melissa. I'm going to be your guide out here today on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. If you look up above you, you'll see an animal spotting guide. And that's going to help us ID some of those animals while we're out there. Uh, we are going to do our best to see as many of them as we possibly can. Uh, but while we're out here, I do ask that everyone does just stay fully and completely seated because it can get pretty bumpy out here. And keep your hands on, feet and legs inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> is the little Atari forest and the little Atari forest is home to some of the more shy and reclusive animals. I feel like if they're on the right hand side we've got an okapi. Now the okapi is the closest relative to the giraffe. Uh, we know that based on their facial features, although a lot of people tend to think they're related to zebras. Uh, that is mainly because of those markings that they have on their hind legs. Uh, now right up here on the left looks like we have a black rhino. Uh, now black rhinos are able to run up to about 35 miles per hour. Uh, but they're also able to gallop just like horses. for us to find hippos. Uh, but if we don't see hippos right away though, it might be because they are able to spend just about eight minutes at a time underwater without having to come up for air. Uh, so if you look down the water for bubbles, we might get lucky and stumble across them. I feel like right over here on the left hand side looks like we've got a couple of hippos here. Yeah. I know hippos are pretty dangerous creatures. That is mainly because they're very territorial. They can actually weigh up to about 5,500 pounds. I know they usually hang out in groups called bloats. Oh, Sarah? Yeah. That's the 
the Nile crocodiles. Now the Nile crocodile can get up to about 16 feet in length on their main diet. It consists mostly of just fish, although I wouldn't stop them from attacking a zebra or an antelope if it were to get in their way down at the watering hole. No, I got one. I got And I feel like right over here on the right hand side looks like we've got a herd of white bearded wildebeest there. Now every year they take part in something called the Great Migration, where just about 1.5 million of them will travel about 500 to 1,000 miles in search of new watering holes and new vegetation. There's also some sable antelope back there. Now the sable antelope are the official emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. On their reddish brown coats are just going to end up getting redder the older that they get. We have the wild African dogs. Now, these guys live in clans, and they will go out and hunt their prey down to the point of exhaustion, which they're going to do by tag teaming and hunting in groups. It does make them. We do have these large structures out here called termite mounds. I uh, know these termite mounds are made out of dirt, dung, and saliva. Uh, they spend pretty much all day baking in the hot sun, where they end up getting about as hard as concrete. Then the giraffes and elephants are going to use them as scratching posts. Uh, all the giraffes that are on this reserve are the Maasai giraffes. Um, we know that based on the irregular patterning that they have to their spots. Oh, they're the tallest animals in the world. So a baby giraffe when born can be about six feet tall. And then a fully grown giraffe is going to get anywhere from 18 to 20 feet tall. Uh, they do tend to spend the majority of their day eating. So they only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. And most of the time when they sleep, they are actually going to sleep standing up. All their tongues can get pretty long. They can get up to about 18 inches in length, uh, which helps them to be able to reach those leaves up there in the trees. Uh, their tongues are prehensile, which means finger-like. Uh, that helps them to actually be able to grip those leaves.
Flamingos. I uh, know these are the greater flamingos. They are the lightest pink of all the flamingo species. Uh, they are going to get that pink coloration from the beta carotene, which does end up coming from the foods that they eat. They're also the tallest of all the flamingo species. at the cheetahs. Uh, now the cheetah is the fastest land mammal. They can run up to about 70 miles per hour. They're going to be the only cats out here on the savannah whose claws will not fully retract, uh, which is going to help them grip the ground while they're running. Uh, but they're also going to be the only cats on the savannah that will purr. <laughs> There's some uh, white rhinos out there. Now, uh, the white rhino is going to be a little bit bigger than the black rhino. Black rhinos can weigh up to about 3,000 pounds. These white rhinos here can weigh up to about 5,000 pounds. Um, they do get their name from the Afrikaans word vite. Trying to translate that into English does actually end up translating to wide. Not white. It actually refers to their wide jaws. They are grazers, so they will use those wide jaws of theirs to help them graze the grasses. Now, reading her 
on the left we have the warthogs. Uh, now warthogs are burrowers, so they live in the little burrows that are all along here. Uh, and every time they go into one of those burrows, they make sure that they go in backwards, just so the first thing that any predator is going to see are the super sharp tusks that they have. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get another look at those rhinos over here on the right hand side. I know there's also a bonsa box down there. Now the bonsa box is the closest relative to the white bearded wildebeest. Um, we know that based on their facial features. Oh, there's some ostrich eggs. Now those ostrich eggs can weigh up to about three pounds each. And the shell of those eggs are so strong. The average male is actually able to stand on one of them without them breaking. Uh, the ostrich is the world's largest bird. They're however completely flightless. They can though run up to about 45 miles per hour. Look at the Nigerian dwarf goats. Now they are one of the only domesticated animals out here on the reserve. They're super active and playful. They love running and jumping and climbing on everything. That's about as tall as they're gonna get. They will only get up to about two feet tall. towards the village. I do hope that you guys enjoyed yourselves. I think we saw quite a few of those animals while we were out there. Uh, but if you were looking for more up close encounters, I would definitely recommend checking out the trails. Uh, now, if you stay over here in Africa, you'll find the Gorilla Falls Trail. When you head over there, you get a little bit better view of the Okapi that we saw at the beginning of the safari, as well as some zebras, naked mole rats, meerkats, and underwater being of the hippos, and of course, gorillas. And um, then over in Asia, you're going to find the Maharaja Jungle Trek, where there's some bats, tigers, and a kimono dragon. Thank you.